So for this first one, I'm looking for the critical value for an alternative hypothesis where I've got a greater than 42. So that means that my rejection region is over here with a size, an area of 0 0.05. So for this one, I'm gonna go into my distribution menu. So second, followed by distribution. I'm looking for inverse norm. I'm gonna arrow down to that and then hit enter. It asks me for that area, which is the area in my tail. So I'm gonna go ahead and put 0 0.05. I do want the standard normal distribution. So mu is zero and the standard deviation of one is perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this on left and then paste. Now the calculator doesn't understand that you're on the right hand side. Notice how I just left it on left, but I know that when I'm working with z-scores, zero lives in the middle here. So the cutoff that I've got is actually a positive 1.64, I'll round that to 1.645. So this critical value is positive 1.645, since I've got that greater than symbol. In this next one, I've got not equals 42 for my um, alternative hypothesis. That means that I have a two-tailed test. So I would be significant if I were either greater than 42 or less than 42. So I know that as I'm looking for these critical Z values, it's going to be a plus or minus. Now this 0 0.01 is the total area in those rejection regions. So in either one of these regions, I've got 0 0.01, that total area divided by two. So I'm gonna make sure and do this when I go into my calculator. I'm going to go into my distribution menu. So second and then vars to get that distribution. I want that inverse norm again, but this time my area is divided into two tails. So 0 0.01 divided by two. I'm again in the standard normal, so I leave it zero and one, and then I go ahead and hit paste and then enter, and I get that 2.576. It only gives me the one from the left. So that's all your calculator can give you. But we know that this lives on both the left and the right. So that not equals gives me a plus or minus 2.576 if I round there to three decimal places. On this last one for a z-score, I've got a less than symbol. That less than symbol points to a rejection region on the left. This rejection region has an area this time of 0 0.10. I'm gonna to go to my distribution menu. So second vars for distribution, down to inverse norm. See if you can get this along with me. 0 0.10, I leave everything else put and then paste. And I get a negative, and I'm gonna keep the negative this time, negative 1.28, I'll leave it there. So my critical value here is about, negative since I'm on the left, negative 1.28. Next, let's take a look at some T scores. The T distribution is very, very similar to the Z distribution. It's just adjusted when we don't know the population standard deviation. In this first example, I've got an alternative hypothesis with a greater than symbol. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw my T distribution, which is gonna look very similar, that greater than points to my rejection region on the right-hand side. It's got an area of 0 0.05. Now, if I go into, let me clear this. If I go into my distribution menu, this time I'm looking for that inverse T. So I arrow down to inverse T and it asks me for the area. That entire 0 0.05 is in a single tail. So I do want 0 0.05. And then it wants DF, which is degrees of freedom. Now my degrees of freedom is equal to N minus one. In this case, it's gonna be 48 minus one or 47 degrees of freedom. Okay, so I'm gonna type in 47 for my degrees of freedom and then paste. And it's gonna give me that area again on the left-hand side since that's all the calculator can do. But I know better, this is on the right-hand side. So that critical T value, which lives right there at that cutoff, is approximately um, positive 1.6779. So 1.6779. 
One more for this last one, it's gonna be a not equals. So in this last one, see if you can do it and then go ahead and follow along with me. I'll bet you can do this one. Okay, so I've got a not equals, which means I've got a two tail test. So I could be significant either significantly less than 75 or significantly more than 75. We're gonna look for those T values. So zero lives right in the middle. But this time that significance area of 0 0.05 is divided into two tails. So the area for both of those tails is 0 0.05 divided by two. Let's go ahead and find that inverse T. I'm gonna go second distribution and then down to inverse T. It wants the area, it's 0 0.05 divided divided by two for a single tail. Degrees of freedom, it is again 47 because it's 48 minus one, so I can leave that put. And paste, I get negative 2.0117. Since this is a two tail test, I know that I actually get two critical values, so I'm gonna write those as plus or minus 2.0117. I'll bet you did great. Take a look at this next video to learn more about hypothesis testing and your calculator. Thanks for watching.